I don't care. <laughs> Happy Hump Day, America. <laughs> so do I have a great monologue tonight, huh? The best one of the year, I think. Eh, what's the hurry? <laughs> you got to be somewhere, Sandra. <laughs> I love the new. I love the new place. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's so white of you. Oh, no. Bunch of racists. Oh, look at you. I'm important. Time is money. I have places to see, people to meet, wonder bread and mayonnaise to eat. You typical bigot, always in a rush. Thank you. Ooh. It's true. Urgency is racism. At least according to the Oregon health officials who delayed a meeting for no other reason than stating that urgency is a white supremacy value. As excuses go, it sounds a lot better than the dog ate my alarm clock. <laughs> but it raises a key question. Since my show starts on time every night, do I qualify as a grand wizard? <laughs> In an email obtained by the great magazine Reason, Regional Health Equity Coalition Program Manager Danielle Droppers, great name, told folks that a scheduled conversation would not take place as planned because urgency is a white supremacy value that can get in the way of more intentional and thoughtful work, which I assume is what she calls sleeping in and then watching the view from her toilet. Oh my God. That's how I watch it. <laughs> so what a happy coincidence for a government worker that it's racist to do your job. Whether it's holding a scheduled meeting or teaching children math, doing both is racist, so don't bother. That way everyone fails, not just government. Now, this is the Oregon Health Authority, an actual agency tasked with coordinating medical care as well as unloading COVID info during the pandemic. So it's no wonder they screwed up that state over COVID. It would have been racist not to. And could you use a broader brush to paint with? Blacks are never in a hurry. So when Usain Bolt outruns a white guy, which is every time, is that reverse racism? Mm. Hey, Usain, what's the hurry? Slow down, you're starting to run like a white guy. <laughs> you know, I worry. I wonder if this stuff will ever show up at Fox. Yeah, I had a great time at the lake house this weekend, Dan. I didn't know you could fit that many hot dogs up there. Ah! Oh my God, we gotta help him quick. What are you doing? Don't you know that rushing is a major tenant of white supremacy? And your shallow desire for fast results can stop people from joining your cause either because they're late or they don't work here. How could you be so insensitive? You know, you're absolutely right, Deb. Thank you for educating us. I promise to do the work. Let's go. To educate the confused on why urgency is racist, another employee pointed to a white anti-racist educator who pushes the idea that harmless traits are actually evil proof of white supremacy. Stuff like wanting to write stuff down or being a perfectionist. It's getting to the point where I don't understand when they use the term white supremacy. Do they mean it as an insult or a compliment? So you write stuff down, you seem to value time and you want things done right, I mean, you just described the perfect employee and all the things that made this country the envy of the rest of the world. Now, apparently, this is all part of diversity, inclusion, and equity training materials. D-I-E for short, mm -hmm. which is what any company that promotes this crap will do. <laughs> but you know what? This is good news for lazy, incompetent workers. <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's asleep so right mean. now. You show up late, unprepared, stinking of booze. You're fighting white supremacy now. Looking back on it, in college, I was a regular Rosa Parks. <laughs> I got to admit, this is pretty diabolical. I mean, what a great way to ruin someone's career. Tell them all the things that make you successful also make you a bigot. It's like a boxing trainer telling his protege, hey, if you want to be a world champ someday, don't go to the gym, don't worry about your footwork, and smoking will actually improve your lung capacity. Oh, and for God's sake, don't avoid McDonald's. That <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> By telling others that good traits are racist, you're telling them to fail. CNN must have had this plan in place for the last 10 years. <laughs> but you couldn't ask for a better way to leapfrog past inept, gullible coworkers plagued by white guilt. You get them all to stay home until they're tardy and you win by showing up on time. All while telling minorities, don't reach your potential. Oh, you'll get equity once everybody loses. 
Of course, for those bureaucrats who aren't held accountable, like Miss Droppers, their incompetence is expected. Hell, public health bureaucrats can literally cause a pandemic and still not get fired. The only thing they do on time, of course, is collect taxes. So here's some questions for Miss Droppers, whose name is perfect for someone dropping standards for herself. If urgency is a racist value, why don't we delay your paycheck <laughs> for like a few weeks? It'll make us all a little less racist. And how about your summer vacation? Is it cool if we just get around to that in the fall? The beach is still nice in November. <laughs> Don't even think about leaving Friday early to beat the traffic. You're no better than Robert Byrd. Forget sunscreen and just put on your white hood. And think about, you know, Obama and Harris and Jackson. They're all historical firsts. How very white of them to come in first. <laughs> You best hope you don't end up in the emergency room anytime soon. I mean, can there be anything more racist than an emergency? Emergencies demand quick action. Nurse, I need 200 cc of atropine stat. I mean, whenever you get around to it. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to sound like a bigot. Seriously, imagine being a doctor trying to curb your urgency. Son, you need an appendectomy ASAP or your appendix could burst and you could die. OMG, did I just say ASAP? What am I, a doctor or a plantation boss? <laughs> At any rate, I'm hitting the links. We can catch up tomorrow, unless you're dead. <laughs> yeah, dead. Death. Talk about finally escaping your own racism. And really, we'd all rather be dead than called racist. And the fact is, isn't death really the least racist thing ever? Think about it. What do they call you when you die? Late. <laughs> Former track star never jumps a gun when breaking a story. Co-anchor of America Report, Sandra Smith. He's like Mr. Clean, muscular, bald, and leaves a lemony scent. <laughs> Former acting attorney general, Matt Whitaker. That's funny. She's smart, attractive, and an inspiration to young women everywhere. Wait, who wrote this? <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat Tip! <laughs> and finally, his paper airplanes must submit a flight plan. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> you know, Sandra, welcome to the show. Thank you. I, I'm, all, I'm almost speechless, though, because this new set, Greg, mm -hmm. congratulations. Well, it, yeah. is, it is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, when you asked if we had a live audience, we should have just said no. It's yes, amazing. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, These are just it's cut out. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came late to this party. I, uh, <laughs> it makes you the least racist person here. I was late, actually. You were actually late to the show. And I was... you are adamant about not being late, so I I'm, apologize. I'm, by, by this definition, I am the most racist person that ever walked. <laughs> I am like. I am. I. I, I am. Blah, 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 blah. I'm always trying to beat the previous record on the show of getting out. Like, that's the whole thing. I called it the I rubber. screwed it all up. You did, already. you did, because you had to change your clothes. Sorry about that. And you know the what you did? The red pants were not working and, for me on the and five. And you know what you wore? White. Oh! <laughs> oh all white. I mean, white. top to bottom, too. I couldn't all What do you make of this stuff? Um, it's almost like I didn't know this was the topic. What I make of this stuff is uh, it, it's it's another example of uh, wasting taxpayer funds. I mean, these are literally government employees. Mm -hmm. getting paid on taxpayer dime who are late and they decide to have an excuse, a lame excuse at that. But the irony of all of this is in this moment of all the perils in the current White House administration, guess what Democrats are screaming? They want to see more urgency from the Biden administration. True. I mean, I couldn't help but see yeah. um, that insane irony in this moment. That's what Governor Pritzker in Illinois is saying about President Biden. We want this president to be more urgent, step up to the plate, bold action. Mm -hmm. So that was my one simple observation, but yet another example of wasted taxpayer money. Yeah, he. I mean, there are times when he's very urgent, but it's usually involving a bowel movement. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You could have seen that coming like a frisbee in the desert. Just coming right at you. Here it comes. So, Matt, you're white. Uh, yes, yes. That's all I have here. Out of the way. I just want to thank you for coming well, here. Well, you know what, Greg? Life is urgent. Let's remember that. Yes. Because you.
hurry mm -hmm. to get things done, mm -hmm. to succeed. Basically, you're taught from a childhood all of the you know qualities that make successful people, and then ultimately you fight not to die. Yes, and get everything done before you die. Exactly. And so, to me, this is just the one thing you can say that allows people never to argue back is that that's white supremacy. I mean, because if you argue that against this woman, then you lose that argument 100% of the time. Do you think that they were, she was just hungover? <laughs> I mean, this is the, I only make excuses when I'm hungover. Uh, so I, I, what does that say about me? You have a lot of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already know that nobody could get food poisoning that often. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see what I eat when I'm drunk. <laughs> what do you think? You think that this was real? I, I don't. I, I think this was a, this is kind of the cat ate my homework mm -hmm. on that's steroids. Happened. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's, that's this, this is impossible that someone actually believes that the quality of urgency mm -hmm. is a white supremacist value. Yeah. And is this a person that's an expert on that now? I mean, let's, what are the, yeah. I, I would love to have her write more emails and more excuses as to why she can't meet with taxpaying voters. Yes. Because you're racist. Kat, did you ever eat your homework? No. No, that's good. Yeah. Good for you. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of sad because it feels like this is a white supremacist movement. Taking these yeah. traits and making them sound racist when they actually could be put to good use. Yeah, I was really confused by this one. So I started reading more about it. Mm -hmm. And then I got even more confused. Yes. <laughs> because uh, the explanation was basically, you know, when you're in a rush, then you can't you know, stop and, you know, have like good decision making, which I agree with. Like when yeah. I'm in a rush, sometimes I'll like forget my wallet or mm -hmm. something like that. But I don't understand where the racist part comes in. Yeah. Like being in a rush, you don't just like suddenly start saying racial slurs. At least I don't. Is there a way to steel man this argument? Like maybe just take, like you're saying, like maybe taking your time, maybe it's about taking your time. It's not about rushing. I don't know. I don't I know where this is. No, I mean, I think it's like, Bad things can happen when you're in a rush. I, again, I read so much about it, and I could not find anywhere where the racism comes in. Mm. Tyrus, last word to you. I was glad that she finally brought it up. Uh, you know, I've been dealing with your racism for <laughs> six years. Be on time, know the topic. <laughs> Don't leave during the segment. I prefer to show up at like the fourth at the end, just to say goodbye, get some applause. And this white supremacist has been holding me down and forcing me to be on time. So, <laughs> whew, I mean, the bravery for her to come forward and finally fight for all us minorities to <laughs> say what needed to be said because we can't be on time. We, we can't be smart. We can't have morales. We got to lower the bar so low so we can be equal with y'all. And thank you so much for stepping off your <laughs> high horse and helping us. That is the most racist woman ever. She basically said urgency, being prepared, knowing your stuff. They can't do that. Oh. Yeah. So, okay, so this isn't like live news in the middle of the day. You guys have like a delay where you get the bleep button. Yes. <laughs> or can we just drop? Cut? Thank you yeah, for watching. Use it. Say something. Yeah. Oh. oh, fair game, I guess. I'm doing the best I can. Ooh. I'm a minority. <laughs> They're so scared to talk. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.